I'm going to be talking about Marcia Kennedy. She has an exhibition coming to the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery called Embodied Ecologies, which is going to be opening up in the fall. Kennedy's work consistently engages and explores the complex interaction and relationship between humans and nature, and the issues that come from this relationship when it's broken. Marsha continues to use people objects like beds and teacups and things like that to show how we humans change the environment to our desire instead of thinking about nature and the natural world. Today we are going to be using a thick piece of paper, some paint, paintbrush, old magazines or newspaper, scissors, and a glue stick. Here are some images to get us inspired. We are going to create bird pictures, but unlike the ones that are here in these images, we are also going to add an object that would be in our house or that we would normally use. So like in Marsha's work, a teacup, a bed, maybe a window. To first start out, I'm going to decide what kind of bird I want to be in my photo. So I'm gonna draw that out with a marker or a pencil. Now that I've got this bird cut out, I'm going to paint it. You can do any color that you would like, or you can do multiple colors. From here, you're gonna to continue to design and create on your bird, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, I've got my bird all finished and decorated up. Now I'm gonna take um, some clean magazines. You can use any color though. And I'm gonna make some grass and some leaves. After you cut these leaves out, let's glue them to the bottom of our page. Teacup, so I'm going to draw out a giant teacup from the bird 
Now that we've got our teacup on, I'm also going to add some more leaves and nature aspects to the background of this piece. Now while you're thinking and doing this, I want you to contemplate and think about how you make your world um, and change the natural world to be what you desire. What can we do to cultivate a relationship and be more conscious of birds and animals in our natural world? Here is my completed Marsha Kennedy inspired work. We would love to see yours, so please tag us or use the hashtag MJMAGMYART. And please check online to see when Marsha's exhibit will officially be opened and what else we have going on at the art gallery. Thank you.